did you two meet? I can talk about that's that because that's a really lovely one. So and how he, did you two meet? Great question. Really good question. Anthony and I met through mutual friends, but when we talk about that story and how crazy it is of the proximity and all of the people that were in our lives, we realized like we didn't come together until like it was time for us to. Um, and that makes that makes my heart like sing. It's it's really really cool. <laughs> Rachel and Anthony grew up just a mile apart from each other, with a lot of mutual friends, but never crossed paths until it was the right time. Rachel and Anthony met on a boat up at our cabin in Lake Arrowhead on a sunset booze cruise. My wife brought Rachel as a friend. I brought Anthony as my personal defense against cervical arthritis, also as a friend. As luck would have it, booze was flowing and chiropractic adjustments were being made by Dr. Shapiro. He adjusted my spine, which is a temporary fix, but he adjusted Rachel's heart, and that is some permanent powerful stuff. Anthony, I don't think I need to tell you how amazing this woman is, but I'm gonna very loud and proud because she deserves to hear it every single day. <laughs> While it's not easy for me to give my wife away, I do trust you, Anthony, one of the most important people in my world, because I know you will make her life better. Everyone here knows that when you see Rachel, you can't help but smile. She just fills you with this warm, happy light that can't be stopped. I look at her today and see her already brilliantly glowing smile become even brighter because of the love she has for you and your future together. My mom used to always say two things that I hated as a kid. It is what it is and enjoy your time as a kid, because once you get older, you're gonna be older. And sure enough, I'm here giving a best man speech at my brother's wedding. I'm not gonna start off when he was playing soccer and he was a little boy, I'm just gonna come to the present time. Um, he's just a great guy. <laughs> and yeah. Back then though, Anthony was always a guy who, he had an old soul, you know, he was always our protector. No, no matter what stupid situation we got us in, it, it was just always evident that he was gonna be a smart, strong, successful guy, and he is. And uh, fast forward a few years, he started dating this girl in Pasadena, and like Anthony, he was always secretive, quiet, and um, you could tell that there was something there when we first met um, Rachel, the more we got to know her, the more she came around. I said, they're gonna get married. And um, we've always wanted a daughter. I don't think we could have got better than Rachel. <laughs> and we love her family, her friends, and everything about her. Yeah. <laughs> having a great time right now, and I miss her. It feels weird not seeing her, but being so close, I can't wait to see her. What are you most excited for, for today? I think walking down the aisle and seeing Anthony for the first time, um, that's something that I've always dreamed about since I was little, and I know that he's going to receive me in the most beautiful way. Now let's get freaky, you can kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank you.
Rachel, I want you to know that um, just because dad isn't here today, um, I can promise you that today would have been the proudest day of his life. Uh, watching his little girl grow up and to build the beautiful life that he did, he would be incredibly proud. Um, and Anthony, I want you to know that my dad would have been equally as proud to call you his son. So I hope you both know that. Anthony, Rachel's dad would be very happy to know that his little girl is now in your loving, safe hands. He would also want you to know that given Rachel's sweet smile and her powers of persuasion, keeping that in mind, today I ask you to put your hand on top of Rachel's because that's probably the last time you'll have the upper hand in the relationship. <laughs> They're going to work out. I can tell. They're both perfect. They're both beautiful. And I think we should have a baby on Saturday. <laughs> so, that's about it. No notes, no camera, no nothing. <laughs> Thank you.